A revolutionary new GPU is on the horizon, and it might just shake up the entire gaming hardware landscape. Rumors surrounding the upcoming Radeon RX 8800 XT suggest this card is ready to challenge the norms of high-performance gaming by blending blistering speed, power efficiency, and aggressive pricing. Early leaks claim it can deliver ultra-smooth triple-digit frame rates at native 4K, edge toward 8K at 60fps, and all while sipping just 260 watts of power. Perhaps even more enticing is its anticipated launch price, reportedly under $800 which could be a game-changer for gamers in the US and beyond, especially after years of eye-watering GPU prices climbing well above $1,400. First is the price. NVIDIA's RTX 40 series has pushed flagship GPU pricing into territory that many consider unjustifiable. Even the used market, which cooled off after the crypto mining boom collapsed, still sees older top-tier cards lingering around the $500 mark. Then there's energy efficiency. Electricity rates in many U.S. states are climbing, often exceeding 15 cents per kilowatt hour, with peak hour surcharges pushing that figure even higher. GPUs that consume 350 watts or more become not just costly to run, but also generate uncomfortable amounts of heat, turning gaming rigs into space heaters. AMD seems to have kept all this in mind when designing the RX 8800 XT. A look at the design and build. Leaks and early images from board partners show a sleek, minimalist card roughly 11 inches in length. Its triple axial fan setup is encased in a muted black shroud, with subtle crimson accents around the fan hubs paying homage to the brand's legacy. Instead of going overboard with flashy RGB, AMD has opted for an elegant, understated aesthetic, ideal for gamers who prefer a clean setup, especially in glass panel cases. The RX 8800 XT sticks to a dual-slot design, freeing up space inside the chassis for accessories like capture cards or high-end sound cards. A brushed metal backplate with a glowing Radeon logo adds a touch of refinement, and the inclusion of traditional dual 8-pin PCIe power connectors means you won't need to fuss with NVIDIA's newer, often problematic, 12VHBWR plug. The card also includes stiffening bars to combat GPU sag, and every unit comes with a small, adjustable support arm to provide additional stability, no tools required. Architecture and Performance Details Under the hood, the RX 8800 XT uses AMD's RDNA 3 architecture, leveraging chiplet design for better yield and cost efficiency. The main GPU die, made on TSMC's 5 nanometers process, handles compute tasks, while the surrounding memory cache chiplets use a 6 nanometers process. This split die approach means fewer manufacturing defects per chip, resulting in better overall production yield. Inside, the card houses 48 compute units, totaling 4,608 stream processors. These are backed by upgraded second-gen ray tracing cores that promise improved performance over RDNA 2. The 96 megabytes of third-generation Infinity Cache acts as a hidden performance booster by minimizing memory latency and power draw. Memory-wise, the card boasts 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 across a wide 288-bit bus offering 720 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. This configuration provides robust support for high-resolution textures and demanding workloads without relying solely on VRAM size or cache gimmicks. Clock speeds are equally impressive, with a game clock hovering around 2450 MHz and boost frequencies pushing beyond 2700 MHz. Some reports suggest nearly 2900 MHz under lighter gaming loads. All of this comes at a restrained power target of just 260W, even for the reference model. Factory overclocked versions might go up to 300W, but that's still well below what we've seen in past-gen power hogs. Gaming performance and real-world efficiency. In practical gaming benchmarks, the RX 8800 XT appears to excel, especially in traditional rasterization performance. At 4K Ultra settings in Cyberpunk 2077, without ray tracing, it reportedly reaches 78 FPS, beating both the RTX 3080 and the 4070T. In Far Cry 6 with high-res texture packs, performance jumps to 119 FPS, again leaving its rivals in the dust. Forza Horizon 5 sees this GPU hit 150 FPS, delivering a noticeable lead over similarly priced cards. For gamers who value raw frames per second above all, these gains are meaningful. When ray tracing is added, Performance does dip, but not dramatically. Cyberpunk 2077 at medium RT settings drops to 57 FPS, similar to the RTX 3080 and slightly behind the 4070T. 
Fortnite on Unreal Engine 5 using Lumen still clocks in around 244 FPS, keeping pace with its closest competitors. This shows that while AMD still trails NVIDIA's latest gen ray tracing performance, the gap has narrowed significantly. Power efficiency is where this GPU shines. In full load scenarios, the RX 8800 XT consumes around 260W, which is notably lower than both the 3080 and 4070T, translating to less heat, quieter operation, and reduced electricity costs over time. Under lighter loads or in eSports titles at 1080p, power draw can dip below 200W without sacrificing performance, especially when AMD's Radeon Chill feature is enabled. Acoustics, cooling, and build quality. For streamers and content creators who rely on open mics, noise levels are crucial. The RX 8800 XT stock cooler maintains GPU temps around 74 degrees Celsius and memory under 90 degrees Celsius, with fan noise staying under 34 decibels at 1 meter. That's quieter than most CPU coolers and case fans. Partner cards from brands like Sapphire and PowerColor reportedly perform even better, featuring vapor chamber coolers that bring core temps into the mid-60s and sound levels below 30 dB, a virtually silent operation in most gaming setups. Forward-thinking ports and display options. AMD didn't skimp on connectivity either. The RX 8800 XT comes equipped with two DisplayPort 2.0 outputs, each offering a whopping 80 gigabits per second of bandwidth. This ensures compatibility with future high refresh rate 4K panels and even true 8K 60 setups without compression. HDMI 2.1a is also on board for premium TV connections, complete with support for variable refresh rate (VRR), auto low latency mode (ALLM), and quick media switching. Additionally, a USB-C port with DisplayPort Alt mode and 27W power delivery is a welcome touch for VR users enabling one-cable setups for headsets without the need for bulky breakout boxes. Tweaks, undervolting, and software support. Tinkerers will find plenty to like. The RX 8800 XT's default voltage sits at 1.01V, but many units undervolt easily to 0.95V while maintaining top boost clocks. This not only lowers temps and power draw but also makes for a quieter rig. Memory can be pushed from 20 gigabits per second to 23 gigabits per second in some cases without instability, though VRAM temperatures rise accordingly. As for drivers, AMD has made noticeable progress. Major game releases such as Hogwarts Legacy and Starfield launched with optimized Radeon drivers on day one. Reassuring news for those concerned about driver support and software stability. Final thoughts. The Radeon RX 8800 XT is shaping up to be a formidable new option in the upper mid-range GPU market. It promises top-tier 4K gaming, respectable ray tracing, whisper-quiet acoustics, and unmatched efficiency, all for under $800. In a market where value has become increasingly rare, AMD may be offering just what gamers have been waiting for. Whether you're building a new PC or looking to upgrade an aging system, this GPU might be worth your attention when it officially drops.